All right, so I came across an interesting piece titled Super PAC Backing Warren Makes $9 Million Super Tuesday Ad Buy. The shadowy group has committed over $14 million to try, and, to, try to buoy Warren's candidacy. As the author of the piece explained, a mysterious super PAC supporting Senator Elizabeth Warren's presidential campaign is making a late attempt to save her candidacy with a $9 million ad buy in states voting next Tuesday. Combined with the $3.25 million per CIS PAC already spent in Super Tuesday states along with $2 million in Nevada and South Carolina, the shadowy group has committed over $14 million to try to buoy Warren's candidacy. Altogether, Warren, who has made the corrupting influence of dark money central to her candidacy, now has the biggest super PAC advertising in the Super Tuesday states. Asked whether the group had any comment on where the money was coming from, Persist PAC spokesperson Joshua Carp, or at least I think that's how you pronounce his name, texted back, no sir. And um, so the ad by is only in three states, California, Texas, and Warren's home state of Massachusetts, where Senator Bernie Sanders has made a late play. Um, yeah, so, like, this, this super PAC thing Warren has going on, I mean, it's bad on multiple fronts. First of all, the hypocrisy for her to be like railing against big money the whole campaign and then when her campaign is on life support or really struggling let's say for her to resort to having a super PAC because she was really she was almost out of cash she was like the lowest out of all the contenders how much money she had cash on hand so instead of sticking to her principles she was like all right I can't get money from the people anymore I guess I'm going to get a super PAC. But she said, I mean, if you think money in politics is corrupting, then it's corrupting. You can't take it yourself. Or the case you are making is either A, you're making a fraudulent case that you don't believe in, or B, you do believe it to be true, but you rather win and sacrifice your principles in order to do, and you're willing to sacrifice your principles in order to do so if she even had these principles because what we have to remember is even though she said she was running a grassroots campaign she transferred I think she even said a hundred percent grassroots campaign she transferred I think it was over 10 million or around 10 million dollars from her Senate campaign in which she raised that money via uh, those big money fundraisers. It was like big money she transferred over to her presidential campaign. That's how she started it off. And also she said at first that she was going to take big money in the general election and that she didn't believe in unilateral disarmament. But then I guess she got a lot of backlash. I know she got backlash from people on the left constantly. And... Or progressives. And... She said, nope, I'm not going to take big money in the general election, which I never really believed. Well, no, I never believed it. I just thought that she was saying it because she was just trying to compete with Bernie, and Bernie Sanders in terms of being progressive. And that if she actually won the nomination, she was going to immediately flip it, her position and say, you know what? Nope, we got to win. We got to beat Trump. I'll take the money. So this, what happened here kind of makes me feel like my instincts were there's a very good chance I think I was right because look as soon as she starts struggling she she puts a super pack she gets a super pack and if we you don't if you didn't notice where was it um look at this part Warren now has the biggest super PAC advertising in the Super Tuesday states. The biggest. 
the person who has the author of this explain uh, the piece explain had made the corrupting influence of dark money central to her candidacy now has the biggest super PAC advertising in the Super Tuesday states. And not only that, uh, the Persic, Persist PAC spokesperson said no sir if he had any comment on where the money was coming from. No, we don't know where the money is coming from. So it makes it even worse. I just... This is really bad, man. Um, if you're a, an Elizabeth Warren fan, I don't know how you feel about this. Because if you believed in what she was saying, that the influence of money in politics is corrupting, and then just to see her turn around and take that money herself, I don't know if I was a Warren supporter. It's probably really hard to rationalize that in your head. So... I don't know. This is not a good look. It's a bad move, and um, it's really sad to see.